every time whenever you go with income statement the sales is always the base value for it whatever the amount you get you are supposed to subtract that with something called the income tax if they will not give you the base year what is that we should do is whichever is the oldest year that is what you are supposed to take as a base sales minus cost of goods sold is called gross profit denote that has a Hello everybody, a warm welcome to one and all. I'm Abhilash Chandra from the Department of Commerce and Management in Vidyashram First State College, the Temple of Excellence. Welcome to all the students for the second chapter, the second unit, Analysis of Financial Statement, the short shot. Now here, what exactly we are supposed to understand is, these are the type of question which can come from the second chapter. Now, sure shot is something where we are doing it only for the students of Vidyashram and all the colleges, whoever are watching Vidyashram channel. Now, please do understand that. You need to know that what are the type of questions which can come in the main examination which you people have very recently. So, when we go with that, the first question here in the analysis of financial statement goes like this. See, the following is the income statement of a company for the year ending 31-3-2013 and 31-3-2014 prepare common size income statement. When I say common size income statement, now you will have a confusion, sir. We have done that equity slash liability, then share capital, equity, shareholders fund, all those things. That is what the balance sheet format is. Now in the classes, I have told you that how the income statement and its format will actually be totally different from the balance sheet. So here when they give you this question can come for 10 marks or 5 marks. So usually people they will ask for 5 marks. So you are supposed to get ready with what exactly the question is all about. So when we go with that kind of a thing, please do understand whenever we go with the income statement, they're going to give you something called the common size income statement. They'll never give you comparative or trend income statement. They give you common size income statement. So here the question is, whenever you go with it, first thing which you are supposed to remember is you have 2013 and you have 2014. So which is the current year according to the question is, this is the current year. And which is the previous year in the sense, this is the previous year. So always current year minus previous year is what we were supposed to do it. But here little trick which we are supposed to go with this. Now they have given sales, cost of goods sold, office expenses, selling and all these things items. We need to go with it. The format is very simple. Sales minus cost of goods sold is equal to gross profit. After that, we are supposed to jot down again, we are supposed to deduct all the operating expenses. Say example here, the operating expenses are office expenses, selling expenses. If you just read like that, you will get to know even depreciation is what operating expenses. After that, we are supposed to go with non-operating expenses. Now, what will be the non-operating expenses? You need to add the things which will come to your company also. So we need to understand the pattern here. So I've given you here the answer. The first one is sales. Now sales of 2013 is how much? The sales of 2013 here we have is 5 lakhs. So every time whenever you go with income statement, the sales is always the base value for it. So here when we go 5 lakhs, so what is the percentage? Whenever the base value is there, that is what the percentage will be 100%. So here I have written 100%. So you make a column where particulars is there, then 2013 amount and rupees, 2014 amount and percentage if you go with it that is what the income statement of common size will be look like now here when we go with that see 5 lakh is the base and that is why it is 100 percent the same way here 2014 if you go here 2014 this is like 7 lakh 5 lakh 10 thousand then 25 then 45 then uh, 30 so that is how here also 20 it is done now understand when we go with that 2014 the sales value is how much here 7 lakh so 7 lakh when it is a base value again it will be what 100 percent that is how you are supposed to remember sales is always the base in the common size income statement now less cost of goods sold how much is the cost of goods sold here it is 3 lakh 25 thousand here it is called 5 lakh 10 thousand so here i have written 3 lakh 25 here i have written 5 lakh 10 thousand how is that you will get the 65? That is what the question is. 65, how will you get? Very simple it is. This is what the base is. That means 
three lakh twenty five thousand. I'll just do the calculation. Three lakh twenty five thousand divided by divided by five lakh divided by five lakh five lakh is equal to into hundred. Why into hundred in the sense? Percentage is what you are supposed to calculate. So is equal to sixty five percent. See, I've written here sixty five. I will not be writing here sixty five percent because already the percentage is here itself. The same way one lakh seventy five. Now deduct that one lakh seventy five. You get now how is that percentage will come is very simple. One lakh seventy five divided by five lakh. The same way here one lakh ninety thousand divided by seven lakh because the base value becomes the sales throughout the year. Now when we go with the next one here, please understand the pro forma very clearly. First is sales minus cost of goods sold is called gross profit. Denote that has a. Next is you need to subtract the operating expenses. Which are the operating expenses here? I just told you that is office expense, selling expense, and depreciation. The amounts are all here itself. That is twenty, thirty, and then you have four thousand. So I have written twenty, thirty, four thousand. Add it fifty four thousand. How is that? You will get four six zero point eight and ten point eight is very simple. Divide these with five lakh. Divide these with five lakh. Divide these with five lakh because five lakh itself is the base value. Now after that, what is that we are supposed to do is now operating expenses is what we have deducted. Now we need to actually go with that. This is called total operating expenses B. Denote this as B. Now, what is the operating profit? Gross profit minus operating expenses that gives you profit of what? Operational profit that is called A minus B. Now you got A minus B. Now you need to add which is the operating income. Now what is coming to your firm that we call it as an income. So here when you go with that, what is your income here? Now we they have said something called. Miscellaneous. They have said something called miscellaneous income. The other income which is coming to your business, you need to add that. When you add that, what happens is you have this twenty thousand here. Now you have this twenty thousand. Now here you have fifteen thousand. Now understand twenty here you have written. Now here you have written fifteen thousand. How is that? You will get two point one four and sixteen point seven one is very simple. Now here. One lakh seventeen thousand divided by seven lakh into hundred. Fifteen thousand divided by seven lakh into hundred. See, this is a simple format. Very easily, you people can actually go with that. After these things, now we got one lakh forty one and one lakh thirty two. After that, we need to subtract non-operating expenses. See, operating expenses we are done. Now we are supposed to go with non-operating expenses. Now when we go with non-operating expenses, this is what. The interest is which is non-operating expenses. That is twenty-five thousand, and here we have thirty thousand. So we'll write twenty-five, and we write thirty. How to get five? Very simple. Now you people already know that. That is twenty-five thousand divided by five lakh into hundred. That is how you got this. After that, whatever the amount you get, you are supposed to subtract that with something called the income tax because this is what the income tax is very. Important and before you subtract the income tax, we call it as profit before tax. After you introduce the income tax, that is minus twenty thousand rupees, whatever you get, that is what we call it as a profit after tax. So you got ninety six. Now how will you get nineteen point two? Is very simple. Ninety six thousand divided by five lakh into hundred is got nineteen point two. So this is what the, this format. If you understand. All the working here, it will be very very simple for you. So this is what the income statement of common size is. Next one we have is a problem. The following are the balance sheet of ABC Limited. Now you will be getting a question which is like very simple. Comparative balance sheet as well as common size. See here, you are required to prepare comparative common size balance sheet. Now I have shown you comparative. Balance sheet as well as common size balance sheet. So balance sheet, the format is totally different. Now I have uh, done lot of problem in the YouTube that you are supposed to actually find. So the first one here is the comparative, which I have shown it for you people. You you know that how exactly we are supposed to go with. Next is what there we have liability here. We have assets. This is how the comparative goes with how minus. You will get fifty. Now how will you get twenty five? Fifty thousand. You denote this as C. 
you denote this as d. Now, d is equal to c by a into 100. This is what the base is. 2016 is the base. 2017 is what? The current year. Now, this is the previous year. If you go with c, c is equal to. Now, go with this as b. This as a. b minus a. So, this is how we have done. Now, if you have seen my videos, it is all very, very simple. I have given you all the techniques here. Next one, here only I have solved the common size balance sheet. If you go with the common size, how exactly you are supposed to do is, this is what the base is. The total is the base. Now, how will you go with this percentage is a question. Now, say example here. 4 lakh divided by 5 lakh 15 into 100. 50,000 divided by 5 lakh 15 into 100. Now, when you go with 2017, 5 lakh divided by 6 lakh 50 into 100. 60,000 divided by 6 lakh 50 into 100. That is how the common size also will look like. Now, this is for liability and this is for the asset side and you get the total here also assets if you go. 5 lakh 15 is there. How will you get these entries? Say here, 1 lakh 50 divided by 5 lakh 50,000 into 100. 2 lakh divided by 6 lakh 50 into 100. That is what the common size balance sheet will look like. And the last question will be trend percentage using 2016 has the base year. Whenever they say the base year is 2016, please do remember this is what the base year is. If they have not given what is the base year, the question is very, very simple. If they will not give you the base year, what is that you should do is whichever is the oldest year, that is what you are supposed to take as a base. Say example, if they would have asked you a question 2017, you take it as a base. Now 2017, if it becomes a base, what will happen? I'll just show it to you here. Say 2016, you will write all the amounts. 17, you will write amounts. 18, you will write amounts. In this question, 2016 is what they have given a base in the sense. Everywhere, this is what the 100 share capital is there. Say example here, I'll give you share capital is 2 lakh of 2016. So you'll be writing 2 lakh. What is the percentage in the sense? 100 percent. Why 100 percent? Because it is the base. 2016 is a base. Now reserves is there. So reserves is how much? 1 lakh. Now you'll write here how much? 1 lakh. Again, it is what? 100 percent. How will you calculate for 2017? So 2017 share capital is 2 lakh 50 and then this is 1 lakh 50. So we'll go with this here 2 lakh 50 and 1 lakh 50. So we'll go 2 lakh 50,000 and 1 lakh 50,000. How will you go with these question marks? Very simple. This is the base, isn't it? 2 lakh 50 divided by divided by 2 lakh into 100. So this is what? 2 lakh 50,000 divided by 2 lakh into 100. That is how you will get the percentage. I'll just show it to you here. So let's use the calcium now here. 2 lakh 50,000 divided by 2 lakh into 100 is equal to 125 percentage. So here I'll write how much? 125. So I'll just erase this and I'll just write it. So here we got 125 percentage. See here, I'll not write percentage because already the percentage symbol is given here. Here also you're not supposed to write percentage because already the percentage symbol is given here. Right? This is how we need to go with trend analysis. Now, how will you go with 2018? The same way here also you are supposed to go. 2018 is how much? 3 lakh and 1 lakh 40. So I'll write here 3 lakh, 1 lakh 40,000. How will I go with this and this? 3 lakh divided by 2 lakh into 100. 1 lakh 40 divided by 1 lakh into 100. Because that is the base. The base is 2016. So whenever I say the base, so the base will come in the denominator. And whichever you are supposed to find, that will come to the numerator. Into 100, why? Because we go with percentage. It's a very simple thing which you are supposed to go with.
So I have, I've done, see, this is what the liability side is. This is what the asset side is. That is how you'll be getting a question. So in this chapter, you have income statement, you have balance sheet. Now, whenever you go with any of this, please do remember, very simple, understand the question, read the question completely and then go for it. Thank you so much. If you have any doubt, let me know. I'll be always there to help you. I'll see you when I see you.